my name is DC and I'll be giving you match analysis between for the teams of Atletico Ottawa versus Vancouver FC all right let's get into this here as the Atletico Ottawa player has it the ball look at this circle here there are about three players within that region that could at least help their teammate get the ball the player have highlighted with the arrow should at least go into cover or help his teammate get the ball back but unfortunately they give him space i would like to appreciate this wonderful turn now here as the vancouver player gets the ball he could either kick it out or actually step on the ball and make a turn to drive into space and maybe start a counter attack but instead did you know what he does he kicks the ball forward i think he was trying to pass it to his uh, teammate and athlete the athletic arrow player takes advantage of that situation look at this one player three people around one player but they still couldn't get the ball this is just a uh, lack of cohesion in the team and uh, i don't know lack of putting pressure on the player but this wonderful 10 even though he does lose the ball he gets lucky whereby the player takes a touch and puts him in front of goal now here as the player is running towards the ball the two players that have arrows near each other the player in black should go and mark that player as he's making the run and the other player here should go and stop this player from running freely in the midfield but unfortunately none of that happens and remember the player that i put an arrow on that he should go and mark the other athletic or arrow player he now leaves this massive space in which the player can take a shot this may look as if you're marking but as long as the person can take a shot that is way too far and as the player hits the post look at the center of the pitch there is no vancouver player to at least prevent the athletical player from you know putting in the rebound and fast fast he takes it and he scores i don't know man i think with better marking this could have been avoided i mean just look at this he left him way too much space he hits the post and then there's just no one to prevent him from scoring the rebound all right here this is a very bad pass the pass should have been wider instead it's started curving inwards and then now the two athletical players go towards the ball this is in the 90th minute of the game i'm sure the most of the players here are tired especially the vancouver players now in this box that i've shown you this is practically a four on three not much the vancouver player can do except track back and track back and track back immediately you try to win the ball it will just be passed around you now here i do believe the vancouver player does well but except there i think he commits too much into blocking the ball his teammate does the same thing his teammate with the arrow with the arrow of highlighted could actually go and block the ball but instead he also decides to ball watch and the uh, athletic player does a wonderful turn i do think the keeper could have done way way better he knows it himself the keeper knows it himself he could have done better i mean just look at this a very good interception here as everyone is tracking back there's not much you can do but here he didn't he got sold he got sold so hard and the keeper could have definitely done better otherwise another great match in the canadian premier league i will see you in the next one